Hi, this is Rita Lwani. Welcome back to my channel. If you're just joining me, please subscribe to this channel. Um, like I said, I'll be uh, sharing some nuggets that can help uh, married couples, especially Christian married couples, to enhance their sexual intimacy in their marriage. So last week I talked about a lemon. Lemon having a role to play in enhancing intimacy. But what I did not say is how you would use the lemon. I have had a lot of people sending me DMs, sending me messages. So now listen up. I did show you the lemon. I did say cut the lemon into two. So now what you need to do is take the lemon, half of it, scrub your armpit, scrub your armpit, scrub the corners, your neck, uh, corners, um, every corner in your body, scrub with the lemon and then voila, you'll be clean, you'll be fresh. So I hope that uh, solved the problem of how do we use the lemon. Okay, so today I'm very excited to be sharing these nuggets with you. And remember I did say that um, sexual gratification in a marriage is not all there is in a marriage. There are things that can enhance the level of sexual intimacy in your marriage. So one of those things that i'm going to be sharing today is the children yes you heard me children you know children in the bible they are a blessing they are the fruit of the womb and they are a blessing to the marriage also sometimes we can actually use our children to you know negatively affect our sexual intimacy the sexual intimacy in our marriage listen up Sometimes, you know, with the children coming into our marriage, into our union, sometimes the women will take that as an advantage to neglect their husbands. Also, men will feel that they are neglected and not understand the woman and the seizing and just turn their back to their wives and their family. So this is a very important deal breaker in enhancing sexual intimacy in the marriage. So since we know that children are a blessing and the reward of from God, it's very important for the man and the wife to constantly work as uh, a team in the marriage. There was a movie I watched some years ago. I actually made refer reference of that movie in my book. It was Hope Spring with Meryl Streep. And uh, I can't remember the actor. Um, and you could see the impact of children. The woman was so close to her children. Everything about her life was about her children. And she had a disconnect with, from her husband. This disconnect made life miserable for her. By the time the children had gone to college, you know, there was nothing left. So the man she called husband, they were so far apart. So like I also said in my book that it's very important that we look at such uh, triggers, such nuggets in our marriages. Now, yes, children are a blessing to us. We're supposed to love our children, but we should not forget to build the relationship we have with our spouse, with our husband, with our wife. Husband, you should not neglect your wife because she's breastfeeding or because she's tending to baby children, to our children. And wife, you should not use children as a two in the marriage to separate, to put a disconnect between you and your husband. Remember these children, they will grow, they will leave the house and who do you come back to? The spouse you never took notice of? The spouse you've grown apart? So it's very important that in raising our families, in having the children, in putting them through life, you know, encouraging them, building them up, that we do not disconnect from our spouse. It's often the case that mothers will be attached to their children, including myself. But the thing about this is that we will suffer, we will have uh, a negative, you know, reward if we don't correct this, if this is our, uh, if this is our practice. And in the time where we train our children, we disconnect, we forget the needs of our partners, we forget the needs of our husbands, we forget the needs of our wives. 
and this has become a problem in most marriages and by the time uh, the child is you know grown and is sent off to recession or the child is weaned does not you know breastfeed anymore does not then your husband your partner would have already begun emotionally so it's very important that we do not separate ourselves from our spouse because of our children this is a very important nugget for us to always remember because really if your spouse feel that he's given the place of a second best it can be annoying it can be irritating and it can be very you know um, a negative but we have to in all these stages of our marriage of our life of our existence as a as an item as a team that we take our spouse we take our husbands we take our wives along so that they know we're doing it together so that when the challenges of life they come through these children we have a team to fight with and also not forgetting the sexual intimacy that both of you share in the marriage it is very important that we know that our children have a place in our lives and it is a team effort to raise them why will build the relationship with our spouse so we can support our children the best God wants us to be and to do for them in the best way because sometimes we do it in a negative way and we lose our children who finally leaves the house and we lose our spouses who become emotionally detached from us so ladies and gentlemen apart from what we do for one another the physical aspect this is a very important aspect that we have to consider in our marriage we have to work as an item we have to work as a team we have to support one another to raise healthy beautiful god fearing children and keeping our relationship with our spouse trusting our spouse to know that they would always get her back and this enhances the sexual intimacy and the love in our marriages and as i share this today with you I hope you take these nuggets to heart and you practice this if you are just raising young children. And even if you're having teenagers or young adults, remember your husband, your wife, and put them in a position of a partner, a team member, and not putting your children first when it comes to your spouse because it can be a deterrent. To your sexual intimacy i pray that god will help us to be good parents that lead by example good parents that support our children in a home where love and all that is needed to raise healthy balanced children is put in place by a team of a man and his wife that are doing great things to ensure the children have the future God has built for them. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're coming across this video today, my name is Ruth Elwade, known as the Home Front Goddess. I hope today, this nugget will serve a purpose in your marriage and it will enhance sexual intimacy in your marriage. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Ruth Elwade. I look forward to seeing you again and I hope this nugget can be useful in your respective marriages. Please hit the notification bell so you get other notification from me. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Thank you so much for watching. Remain blessed always.